the irony of sitting here today and talking about bright, fun summer eyeshadow palettes while being dressed in the biggest fluffy hoodie in the world is actually so funny to me. But you will never guess what. It's raining and cold here in England today. Yes, it may be the summer, but by God, no one has told the weather that because I am freezing cold, but that is not going to stop me. I'm going to be talking about fun summer makeup, reminiscing, hoping to God that the English weather is going to turn soon. I really hope so. Hopefully talking about some bright makeup is going to put me in that mood and hopefully it's going to bring some sun to me because I desperately need it. I was going to change into something more appropriate for this video, but honestly, I just think this is too good. Like it's, it's too ironic. So I'm going to stay in this. Today I am going to be talking about my top eyeshadow picks for summer. I've gone through my collection and I've got six palettes from my collection and I've also gone and found five eyeshadow palettes that are not in my collection but you guys may have at home. They're a mix of indie brands, main brands, new, old, all of that stuff. So I've really covered a range of things here today but if you have not already definitely like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel. I love bright fun, colorful makeup looks. I love project panning and get ready with me's. And you'll never guess what, the one and only Angelica Neefist just shouted me out. So I can die happy now. I can, I, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Honestly, it has been an absolute day and a half, but I'm, I'm on cloud nine. I'm going to film and hopefully transfer all this happiness and joy through the camera and make you all happy as well. So I'm going to start with my first palette of my collection. Now this is discontinued, but that's not going to stop me. If I mention anything that's discontinued, I really encourage you to dupe out your collection, rummage through your drawers. But the first palette that I'm going to talk about is the Huda Orange Obsessions palette. I was obsessed with this eyeshadow palette a few summers ago. Look at this. This is the perfect palette for summer. Are you kidding me? This has all of those bright neon orange shades that you could possibly want. It's got pinks, it's got oranges, it's got this beautiful chartreuse. Look at this, oh my God. Just these three colors alone scream summer. Are you kidding? Oh my God. This has been seen in TK Maxx's around the country. So so definitely keep an eye out if you're into like that kind of scene. I used to love TK Maxx hauls. Am I, am I alone? But that was a throwback for me. You guys know I'm not normally a bright orange neon girl, but these shades just call to me sometimes. Sometimes I'm in that mood to just embrace summer, embrace the sun. Maybe not today because it's throwing it down, but this palette always reminds me of the sunny weather, of the beach, of relaxing in my garden with a book and an iced coffee. Oh my goodness me. I would love that to be me right now. <laughs> I used to have the neon green palette. However, I did give that away just because I didn't like the quality, but this quality is so beautiful. So if you have this lying around in your makeup collection, maybe do like a bright orange look or maybe use this chartreuse as an accent color. I think it would look amazing. Definitely play around with this this summer. So moving on to a palette that I don't own, I'm going to go like alternating, I think. And this is the Cosmic Brushes Delights palette. This is summer in a palette if I have not seen it. This is beautiful. The mix of blues and warm tones are stunning. You guys know I absolutely love contrasting color stories. So this was right up my alley. And I actually saw this palette while I was buying the Cosmic Brushes Cool Trolls palette, which will be reviewed on my YouTube channel very, very soon. So definitely stick around for that. Though that is definitely not a summer palette. That is like... British summer palette. Raining, cool toned, smoky, dull in the best way possible, of course. But this palette had my attention for quite a while and I don't know why I've never bought from Cosmic Brushes until a few hours ago. They're so cheap and inexpensive. They are really, really good quality and they're British owned as well. It should be a clean streak in my checklist for new makeup brands. 
but I've just, I've never been able to bite the bullet until now. So who knows, maybe this Cool Trolls palette is gonna open a door for me and I'm just gonna be a Cosmic Brushes stan. Hopefully so, because I have very high expectations. If you have this palette or any of the palettes that I don't own that I mentioned today, definitely let me know. But that palette you will definitely want to pull out of your drawers this summer. So the second palette that I'm gonna talk about today that is in my makeup collection, and this is more color story rather than quality. This is the Revolution Jungle Princess eyeshadow palette. This is in collaboration with the one and only Lion King. Look at this color story. This is so beautiful. Now, quality wise, <laughs> it's honestly not the best quality wise, but color story, if you want to dupe this, I would 100% recommend. You can see that the swatch is a little bit, uh, a little bit lackluster, to be honest. This chartreuse, I'm gonna give it to it. This chartreuse is nice. I would definitely recommend duping this rather than buying this palette. But if you have this palette in your makeup collection, definitely grab it out, play around with it. There are a few shades in here that are standouts. This blue is beautiful, as I said, this chartreuse. And this dark green actually is so stunning. Chartreuse is definitely a color that I'm getting into recently. If you saw my Pan Those Eyeshadows update, you will know that I am trying to pan the most beautiful matte chartreuse -y green shade. I've been obsessed. I've been putting it in pretty much every single look that I have done over the past month. So shades like this have really grabbed my attention recently. Definitely chartreuse is a shade for the summer. If you have a palette with any chartreuse in it, definitely pick it up. Definitely put it in the inner corner of any look and you'll just look amazing and ready for summer. So that is a massive cause of inspiration for me and I hope it is for you as well. All right, moving on to a palette that I don't own. This is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Pastel Dreams palette. Oh, I had my eye on this. I had my eye on this and I was drooling, but from what I remember, it's pretty expensive and that's why I didn't end up buying it. If you have this palette, this time of year is the time to pull it out, dust it off. I love talking about old makeup as well as new makeup here on my channel. So, and I wanna make sure nothing is neglected, not only in my collection, but also in your collection as well. I've seen this palette swatch and these shimmers look to die for. So honestly, do it just to spite me. Use this palette just to get at me because I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> Pastels are such a beautiful thing to wear in the summer. It's light, it's airy, it's beautiful, it's fresh. And I love that. A way of incorporating color while not being so in your face is absolutely amazing. And paired with the corresponding shimmers, you can make a really, really simple, light, colorful look. And that is exactly what I'm going for this summer. I absolutely love just a light, blue in the crease with a light blue shimmer, nothing too crazy, some nice lashes. That is like my go-to summer look sometimes. So with that palette, it is absolutely perfect. And I'm, I just want that palette so bad, but I'm resisting. I'm resisting, but if you have it, definitely pull it out. Okay, I have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette here with me today. If this is not summer in a palette, I don't know what to tell you. This is so beautiful. And I love using this palette as a pop with some other colorful shades. So this goes with blue, this goes with green, it goes with purple, it goes with cool tone neutrals, warm tone neutrals, it goes with everything, everything. Trust me, it does. I love pairing yellow with just any look ever. I was definitely very, very intimidated by this palette when I first got it because I felt like I needed to use it all on its own. I felt like I had to do a complete look with this palette. And I mean, an all yellow look for the summer, iconic, love that. But if you're a little bit scared of that, just like I am, using these shades as pops, I'm gonna roll my sleeve up because it's getting annoying. But using these shades just as pops of color, even in just a very, very neutral look, is stunning. And it doesn't just go for the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, it goes for any yellow eyeshadow in your collection, whether that's a single, whether that's in a palette, it can be any way. I just love yellow as a pop. It is like my weak spot, I swear. And I really hope that we get some warm weather very soon here in England because a pop of yellow is gonna be right up my street. I am gonna be rocking that pop of yellow, you bet, as long as the weather turns, because right now my strawberries are getting a hell of a good watering, which I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. We are due a heat wave soon. 
And I'm hoping and praying that that is true because I'm so cold. <laughs> It's June, it's June, what are we doing? But if you were looking to kind of introduce yourself to some more color this summer, a pop of yellow is the way to go, whether that's on the lower lash line, on the inner corner, as a little bit of a wing, that 100% is the way to go. If you have a yellow, pull it out this summer, you will not regret it. Next is a palette from the drugstore that I don't own, and I was tossing this up, okay, because I have this sister palette, but the NYX I Know That's Bright palette is perfect for summer. This is summer in a palette. This is a carnival in a palette. And I do have the NYX Ultimate Jean Baby palette, which is the more blue and neutral palette. I mean, it's me. If you've been on my channel before, you know blue is my weakness. So obviously I had to buy that. But this palette was like definitely number two. And for summer, it is stunning. I can tell you that from the sister palette that I own, the quality of these are amazing. I'm so excited to own the NYX Jean Baby palette. And honestly, if I had all the money in the world, I would buy this one as well. I'd buy all of these on the list. I'd buy all of Sephora. Who am I kidding? I'd buy all the boots, all of Superdrug, all of everything. But hey, we can't all have our dreams. <laughs> I wanted to add something from the drugstore as well that I don't own just because I feel like sometimes makeup can be so expensive. And hey, NYX they have upped their prices. I'm not gonna sit here and say NYX is the cheapest brand in the world, but I can say hand on heart from trying this sister palette, this quality is good. I don't wanna steer you in the wrong direction. So if you have this palette or if you've seen this out and about and you're in the market to buy a new summer eyeshadow palette, this is one that I would definitely recommend. It is beautiful, it is stunning. This color story is gorgeous gorgeous, perfect for the summer months. Rock those oranges, rock those reds. You know you can. So the next palette is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. This is the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. Not that you would tell from the packaging at all. And hey, don't tell anyone. It's our secret, okay? Um, we've hit pan. We hit pan today on the shade Sleeper, but hey, we're just gonna keep that between me and you. This is something a little bit different. I feel like people don't often think of purples when it comes to summer, but I've loved this look today. I've loved wearing this. I feel summery even if the weather is against me right now, but this palette, this shade as well, what's this? Fan Fiction Earthshine, mm-mm, Kittenfish, perfect for summer. I feel like this does have those like very, very, purple shades, but it also has these kind of mauve tones for those of you who are like me and get a little bit scared with pinky purples. So these are some swatches there. I didn't swatch many of the true deep shades, but this palette is so beautiful. It has stood the test of time. Honestly, the ColourPop monochromatic palettes are so up my street still. I'm still obsessed with them. I'm still in the 2016 mindset of the ColourPop monochromatic palettes because I can't get enough. I can't get enough. I need to move on just like the rest of the internet, but I just can't. If it's good, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna keep telling you, hey, these are good. And for summer, especially this middle shade Earthshine all over the lid with just like a, a really beautiful neutral transition in the crease, yes. Yes. These are not only affordable, but they are such good quality. ColourPop, it's a staple. We all know and love her. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get in the UK and other countries just because of shipping and taxes and things like that. However, I did just do a ColourPop order and there is free international shipping as I'm filming this. Double check that. But sometimes ColourPop does do free international shipping and it is like the savior of my life, honestly. I love ColourPop. I wish it was more readily available in the UK. I wish I could go to Boots and just buy ColourPop. Actually, no, I don't because then I'd be bankrupt. So maybe it's a good thing that they're on a little bit of a long leash. So next for a palette that I don't own, it's actually a palette that I did own, but I don't anymore. And the reason I decluttered this is not because it's bad quality. It's just because for me personally, the color story wasn't up my street. It wasn't something that I was reaching for on the daily. But if you are more into these super warm tone colors than the Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons. You will have this in your drawer. I know you have this somewhere. This is sadly discontinued right now, but it was an absolute staple a few years ago. I did buy this along with the Book of Magic a few years ago, and I do still have the Book of Magic. However, the Sunset Horizons has sadly been given away, but if you still own this, 
bring it out. Honestly, bring it out. Now is the time to rock those reds, those pinks, a little bit of blue in there as well. You guys know me. I love those blues. But for me, I would rather rock the cooler tones over the warmer tones. And for me, this palette just didn't quite make the cut. Nothing about the quality. I really, really did love the quality of this palette. I know a lot of you guys love these kind of shades for the summer. If you have it at the bottom of your drawers, it is time to pull it out. It is time to play because summer is kind of here. I feel so weird saying summer's here when it's dark and raining outside. I hope it's better weather for you, honestly. If it is, please enjoy it for me because I'm so sad. <laughs> the next palette that I own that I'm gonna talk about today is an absolute throwback, okay? I wanted to have new and old palettes in here. Juvia's Place Zulu, baby. Oh my God. This started my colorful obsession and I still love it. I still love it. She still has a place in my collection. She still has a place in my heart. She is still colorful as hell and pigmented as hell. Look at this. I want to do a look with these now. I want to do a look with these colors. How beautiful is that? Ooh, bright fun color explosion, absolutely gorgeous. Juvia's Place was one of the first brands really that was known for like super bright, intense, pigmented shades. And it stands the test of time. If you have a very old Juvia's Place palette in your drawers and you forgot about it, pull it out because this is the time that they shine. Bright weather equals bright eyeshadow. And this is definitely what this is. It is just in your face. You're not gonna get a subtle, nice, quiet look with this. You're gonna be wham pam in your face, blinding everyone on the street in the best possible way. These oranges, the yellow, the pinks, perfect for summer. Even these blues, okay? These are more warm toned blues, maybe apart from this one, which is more of a neutral blue but they're definitely leaning more warm tone. And for summer, that is absolutely perfect. I think it goes with so many of the summer looks, so many of the summer trends. You can also do the ombre sunset blush look with this palette as well. We have a yellow, we have an orange, we have a pink, you can do it all. I think this palette is stunning and it's not been used much, to be honest, in my collection over the last few years. So hopefully if we get this like very, very, very fleeting heat wave that we've been promised for about 10, years I will definitely be pulling this out and maybe maybe I will just for the hell of it in the dark dreary weather because she is stunning and I do kind of feel bad for neglecting her for so long. Next is a brand that I have beef with but that's okay because I want to incorporate everyone's style in this video and that is the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. Now I don't like Natasha Denona because her eyeshadows just seem a little bit dry for me. They don't look great on me. They don't work well for me but I know Natasha Denona has an absolute cult following here on YouTube so this one's for you guys okay. Okay, I'm taking a step back and I'm putting you guys first, okay? This is, again, one of those palettes with these super, super, super warm tone oranges. Perfect for summer. Those sunset looks, they are coming your way. If you have this in your drawer, rummage through, root it out because this is the time to use it. Hopefully where you are right now, the sun is shining, it is warm, you're in some light clothes, can't relate, absolutely love that for you. And hopefully you can whack this palette out, do the most beautiful coral orange eye look to go with the beaming sun and the hot weather and the cold drinks instead of fluffy hoodies and hot chocolates. Can you tell I'm bitter right now? I'm bitter. <laughs> but I wanted to mention this palette because I wanted to be inclusive for everyone's needs, everyone's wants, everyone's desires. You know me, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like that. And the final palette that I am going to talk about today is a palette that I own. It is the Poppy Quiet Palette from Titanium Foxes. This, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm not, and I'm, I'm not done there because I'm about to swap. Mm. Hello, hello, I'm about to swatch it and make you all die because it is so unbelievably stunning. Like, like what, heh, 
hair. This palette is just beautiful. I did get this sent to me in PR recently and I've just not been able to put it down. These shimmers are beautiful. I have said that between this and the Poppy Storm palette, this is the spring summer palette. The other palette is the winter autumn or fall palette. This is like all of my dreams have come true. Like, I'm I'm so unbelievably happy with this. Just looking at this, I want to take all my eyeshadow off. I want to start again. I want to make a beautiful summer look with this. I'm obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed. If you have this palette, definitely, definitely, definitely pull it out for summer because it is the perfect time of year for these bright, beautiful, shiny duochromes, these bright pink shades, the little pops of blue, very, very fair light shades in here, but they pack a punch so perfect for this time of year. You will regret it if you do not pull this out soon because hopefully the weather where you are is uh, a little bit better than mine. <laughs> But trust me, when the weather gets better, I'm gonna be out with this blue shade and the sun is gonna hit my eyes and you're gonna see about 50 million different shades and everyone's gonna be stood in the street gawping at me because of how stunning that shade is. Alrighty then, these are my top picks for summer. I wanted to do some palettes that I do have and own and some palettes that I don't. I just wanted to do a range of palettes today. And who knows, maybe you have some of these palettes that I spoke about today that I don't own. Maybe they're like getting cobwebs and dust all over it and you think, hey, I need to pull that out. And if you do, that is incredible. I always wanna say, use what you own. Use Use what you love, try not to neglect any of your makeup. So if this is a flick to switch for you, that is amazing. But this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.